Pac-Man. It's the name of a classic arcade game. It's the name of an excellent package manager on Arch-based Linux distributions. And now it is also the name of a hardware vulnerability that is present in all of Apple's new M1 chips. The vulnerability gets this name because it's able to bypass a very low level security feature of the M1 chips called pointer authentication, which uses pointer authentication codes, thus pack and then man, I don't know, you can think of some little digital man curb stomping the security mechanism. When the pointer authentication was introduced into these M1 chips, suddenly an entire category of bugs became a lot harder to use against those Apple devices. You might know already that pointers point to where a variable is stored in memory. It's a very low level function and they are a really juicy target for hackers to exploit because they're used everywhere throughout software. And if you can make a pointer point to something that it's not supposed to, then you can start doing some pretty nasty stuff to that system. Now, the pointer authentication codes, these are 16-bit cryptographic hashes that are supposed to protect pointers from being modified. When it's enabled, a hacker would have to know what the authentication code of a pointer is before they're able to modify it. And in circumstances where this pointer authentication is enabled, the program that has the vulnerable pointer would crash if the attacker tried to modify it without guessing the correct pointer authentication code. And the size of this pointer authentication code all depends on how much space is reserved for the operating system, but the M1 chips are 64 bits and Mac OS, which is what most people who have one of these M1 MacBooks would be using, uses 48 bits. So the pointer authentication codes in this setup would be 16 bits in size, and guessing a code like that would be pretty tough since you would have less than a one in 65,000 chance of getting it right. But the Pac-Man bug has a method of getting around this crashing feature called the Pack oracle And it's able to guess every possible Pack value for a pointer, all 65,536 of them in less than three minutes without crashing the vulnerable program that is having its pointers enumerated. When the correct value is guessed, the Pack Oracle watches a hardware memory store called the Translation Look Aside Buffer to see if it changes. So wrong guesses are going to produce no change, but a correct guess is going to change one of the values that are stored in the TLB. So that is going to tell the attacker what the Pack value is and then it's going to let them continue with exploiting the software bug. And it can even let an attacker load kernel extensions that allow them to take over the operating system's kernel, which at that point means that this hacker owns your system. They can do whatever they want on it. They could even do this remotely and they can do it with the highest privileges that are available. And I know that this sounds really complicated, but according to the researchers who published the papers, it's actually not that complicated. I mean, hell, the research papers, they're only 14 pages, including two pages of sources. And there'll be a link to this in the description, by the way, if you want to look through all of this and take a deeper technical analysis for yourself. Uh, now, Pac-Man, it's a security issue that cannot really be fixed because it exploits a hardware feature in the M1 chips. There's no software patches that can be done to fix this problem. Pac-Man is always going to be a vulnerability in those computers and M1 chips in general, unless they're going to be redesigned for newer models. But don't panic just yet, because luckily for the M1 users, Pac-Man cannot be used to exploit your system by itself. It's really just used to bypass this pointer authentication system and then to gain access to the kernel from user space. So it's really more of a privilege escalation technique than anything. Before Pac-Man can be used against a Mac, there has to be an exploitable pointer within some of the software that you're using somewhere on your system. Remember, 
The pack is just a way to make all pointers more secure and Pac-Man is bypassing that security mechanism. So it's going to be very important if you're using an M1 Mac or really any platform at all, Windows, Linux, any kind of hardware, it's gonna be important for you to keep your software up to date. Virtually every version of every piece of software is going to include something called minor security fixes or minor security patches. And oftentimes, what these are referring to is they're fixing problems with a pointer. They're fixing things like use after free, buffer overflows or underflows, especially if the software is written in a more low level language like C or C++, where memory management is something that the devs actually have to think more about when they're creating the program. But yeah, keep an eye on your software updates. If you're using a Mac, don't be like so many other Mac users and just think, oh, I'm using a Mac, therefore I'm unhackable because Apple is so smart. No, they're not as smart as you might think, okay? These chips, they're still pretty new and already a major security feature that has been included in them has been bypassed. So common sense security techniques like updating, all of the software on your system, keeping it up to date, that's still going to be in play even when you're using a $3,500 laptop. Like and comment, tag the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey. Have a great day.